I get it. You're quarantined, you're running out of things to do. I figured why not install a new Linux distro on a tiny little PC box. What's good with it? It's your kid, Folk Dookie, back again with Bang. Bunch of the new gear reviews so that we get the best Bang for your tech dollars. And what I've set up here is a Linux distribution. Now, in these trying times with everything that's going on, you may be looking for some things to do to occupy your time. And a great way is to install Linux on a device that you may have around the house. Now, why would you want to install Linux instead of Windows or even just use a Mac machine like that? One, for the most part, Linux is free. Secondly, it runs better on older or less powerful hardware. Now, you may have your main desktop that has a really powerful CPU, powerful GPU for gaming, lots of RAM, things like that. And you may have an older device, a laptop, an old desktop, maybe even something small like this mini PC that doesn't have the best specs, but you want a really good user experience. That's where you toss a Linux distro on there, and now you have a fully fledged operating system ready to go. Now the device I chose to use was the Azul Byte 3, which is a mini PC I reviewed way back. It's a quad core Apollo Lake CPU with four gigabytes of RAM and 32 gigabytes of storage. Now this is the kind of PC that's perfect for browsing the web, checking emails, or even watching all of my YouTube videos. To prepare it, I wanted to install a separate SSD to dual boot both elementary OS and the Windows 10 Pro that's already installed. First, we removed the four screws from the bottom plate to access the internals. Here you can see where they include space for a 2.5 inch drive. Next, I'll connect the drive to these SATA and power cables. Note, the Byte 3 also supports M.2 SSDs as well. Push everything back inside, add the screws, and you're ready to go. Next, we prepare the bootable USB drive. I will suggest at least a four gigabyte drive to be safe. First, we'll go to elementary.io to download the ISO file. You can do this either by torrents if you use them or direct download. Next, we'll go to Rufus.ie to download Rufus 3.9 Portable to create a bootable USB drive. Open Rufus and make sure the USB drive is selected. Choose disk or ISO image under the boot selection section, then hit the select button and point it to the elementary OS ISO that you previously downloaded. I left everything on default and proceeded to hit the start button to begin the process. Be aware that you will be erasing everything on this USB drive. Hit OK on the prompts and let the process run. It took a few minutes on my machine. Once that is finished, insert the USB drive into the Byte 3 and power it up hitting the delete key to get into the BIOS. Once in the BIOS, we go to the save and exit screen and down to the boot override section and select the USB drive to boot into. Once it loads, you'll be presented with the option to try elementary or install it. Make sure you have the right language selected and hit install. From here, it's a pretty standard OS setup. Choose your keyboard layout, connect it to Wi-Fi, and choose if you want to install updates and third-party software for your hardware. Once you get to this screen, you have a few important options. If you're creating a dual boot system, then you'll want to install elementary alongside Windows Boot Manager or any OS you may have already installed. If you want to format the drive and just use it as an elementary drive, then choose the second option. If you're more familiar with resizing and choosing partitions, then you can use the last option to do it yourself. I chose the first option, then maximized the size of my elementary partition to get the full use of space for that drive. 
Next, these changes will be written to disk. And once that's done, you'll be back to again, what is a pretty much standard OS install. Choose your time zone, create the count, and let the install complete. Ooh, as you can see, we have a full install. Let me get out of here. Let me get out of here. I was jamming to some Crew 5-4 music. Make sure you check the links down below in the description to see that goodness. But we have a full install here. I'm in the elementary OS desktop. Wi-Fi is working out of the box. Audio, that's one of the main things about Linux is a lot of times you don't have to go in and dig for extra drivers or a lot of the things that you have to do in Windows to make sure that everything is compatible. You kind of just plug stuff in and it just works like some other OS that people seem to be fond of. <laughs> Now, if you're interested in some of the top apps that I think that you should be using on a fresh Linux or elementary OS install, make sure you leave a note down in the comments and let me know that you're interested in seeing that and I'll get that ready for you. But what I would like to ask you is, if you've used Linux before, what distribution did you like and what would you like to see me test here on this channel? Also, what apps are you using on Linux for all my Linux users? I know y'all out there. But for now, I'm gonna get up out of here. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and never forget to holler at your boy.